Well, Silla, congratulations on the uh, on the new contract. Um, has that has that come about quicker than, than you thought it might? Bearing in mind the way you've played over the last six weeks. Hey, I, I didn't expect to sign a new contract. But it's great. It's like great news for me. Give me more two years. Give me more space so I can show my football and I can be more relaxed and show on on the games. Do you think that having waited a little bit until you got into the side, that's enabled you to? acclimatise more quickly in the team? Yes, of course, I've been watching Kiflo, been doing so well, so I was putting in my mind, well, Kiflo is playing really good, so when I come into the team, I must do well, or Kiflo will keep his, his place, because he's a great player. So. And have you um, been able to make the step from Bath City in the Blue Square to League Two more easily than, than you thought you might? Yeah, it's been easily because of all the lads. It's been helped me a lot, like both centre backs, like all the teams. It's been helped me a lot, and they've been giving me advice. So it's been more easy than what I thought. And now you're in the team, you're desperate to stay in there because the side's been doing well. And if if you should be injured or somebody else takes your place, it's going to be hard to to get back in the side. Yeah, yes, of course, but. This is the way football is, so I just need to, to carry on playing. Once I'm in the team, I just need to carry on playing. If I get an injury, I hope no. If I get a red card, I hope no as well. If another player comes and do well, I have to go everything again, start again. And this is the way football is. As as a whole, is, is the squad very confident at the moment? Yes, of course. Like these teams, everyone's like feel the confident but if you are winning it gives you more confidence each game you're winning it gives you more confidence and builds on builds on confidence so we have to carry on winning to build our confidence just stay where we are where we are so you know, the manager said that as soon as he offered you the contract you said yes straight away I mean that shows how much you wanted to stay here yes of course I said yes straight away it's more two years to give me more chance and to make my mark in football league so it's excellent yeah. And does it show that to you there's more important things than money? Yeah, of course. Money is like when you're young or when you have a dream. Money is, is not important. I don't really care about money. Of yeah. course, it, it's help you f- for you to have a good life or plenty in your life. But well, if you're always thinking about money, it's, it's, it's not a good thing for you when you're young. Yeah. A few years ago, you were at Exeter for a few months, weren't you? And you couldn't quite break into the first team then. Obviously, you're a bit older now. Do you think your game's improved a lot since then? Yes, of course, it improved a lot. When I came from Portugal, I didn't know, like, English football used to be really strong, and uh, in Portugal, we don't have so much contact. We have a lot of space on the ball in, in England. Now, when you get the ball, you have one, two players on next to you. So this this one was one of the first things I, I learned. So now I'm trying to get tight everywhere, because in Portugal, I used to give a lot of space. Yeah. You've done well at every club you've been at, haven't you? You've won Player of the Year awards, you've won promotion, um, you've got Player of the Year for Bath last year, and hopefully you can continue that success at Cheltenham. Yes, I hope, yes. I hope doing doing well in which club I go, so I give it 100% of me in every club I go. Yeah. How did you find the Tramia match? Because it's against a League One club, you had a big winger against you, the manager said he's glad that you were there because you... You know, because of the physical challenge that you stood up to well. How did you find the match? Well, it was quite hard because I heard before the game and I see the goalkeeper of them kicking to, to my side and I heard the, the lad was quite good in the hair. So I just have to put in my mind and just go and fight for each ball coming to my side. Yeah, and he actually brought you down for the penalty, didn't he? So, I mean, were you tripped? Yes, yes, he tripped me. Well, we've been training on the free kick on, on the training match, so... The guy didn't expect us to do that, so we did that free kick, and the guy tripped me on my leg. It was a penalty. It was great for the club. Yeah, you have to, be, you have to be quick for that free kick to work, don't you? You have to get there very quickly because it's, it's you've got to chase yes. it, and it's got to be a perfect delivery as well. Yes, of course, I have to start slow and for one moment just speed it inside the box, and the free kick was great, and the guy didn't expect we to do that, so it was great. And he tripped me on my leg. Yeah, we've seen you at left back a couple of times and right back, uh, but the manager says you can play anywhere, just behind the front man or in midfield. Is that something you've done much? I did that, but I did that in conference. I don't know if I can do that in League Two. I hope yes. Well, I can give a try, but it will be more difficult because the players are more clever in League Two and it's quite difficult for me. What's the best thing about living in Cheltenham? 
Yeah, it's excellent. Well, I am next to the training ground, so I can come closer. I live next to the to the stadium as well. I don't have to travel, so it, it gives more fitness levels, keep me better. So I don't have to travel a lot. Yeah, and you're enjoying the, the area. I mean, in general, because yeah, uh, moving yes, moving yeah. up and bar. Yes, of course, it's a nice shopping. I always go go through town. I have everything next next to me, like shopping to get some clothes or to get some food. It's excellent. Yeah. What I'd say.